Hello my creative friends! In this beginner friendly tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a monstera leaf in a super easy way. This video is part of my class Tropical Leaves in Wash Master Your Drawing and Painting Skills. In this class I teach how to draw and paint four leaves in gouache, one of my favorite painting mediums. In the second part of the tutorial, I will show you how to transfer this drawing into watercolor paper in case you want to paint it and leave a little treat for you so that you can download it. I painted my leaf using gouache, so I will leave you with a video where you can see my steps to paint it with relaxing music in the background. My painting is hung on the background, so you can use yours to decorate your room as well. By the way, you will find a link to the whole class in the description of this video. I'll make these two little marks as guides so that my drawing has a similar distance on the top and bottom of the paper. Normally these plants are very heavy, which causes them to look down. To create the central vein, we're going to draw it wider at the top and thinner at the bottom. I'm not starting my central vein too high because as you can see, where the central vein ends is not the top of the leaf. So just have that in mind. This plant has a bit of a narrow heart shape, or at least that's the way I see it. I'm going to create these two marks to make sure that I don't surpass them. I'll start by making a half circle on the top and then draw the bottom part. I'm going to erase the silhouette and redraw it until I feel happy with how it looks. Take your time drawing and enjoying the process. Now that the silhouette is ready, we can start creating the leaf divisions, which are much softer than the ones in the banana leaf. You can think of them as very long inverted U's. Sometimes I like to relate different features to things that I already know so that I can remember how to draw them in the future. I'm going to create two on this side and three on the other side. Once you like how the divisions look, you can start erasing the part within. Lastly, I will make these lines in between the leaf divisions that I see in the photo. I don't think that I'll paint them, but I like how they look in the drawing. When you want to create this plant on the side, you can paint only half of it and curve the main vein so it looks like it's falling. I will start by drawing the central vein curved, looking down, wider at the top and thinner at the bottom. Then I will draw half a heart, then the inverted leaf divisions, which look like U's, and then the secondary veins. Great monster leaf ready! Before we move on, I have a tiny favor to ask you. Like this video so that it can reach to more people. And of course, if you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications for when the new tutorial is out. So click on that bell and you will get a notification, my creative friend. I made these four drawings as part of my class. If you don't have much experience drawing, I will leave a link below so that you can download them. They will help you get started. Just transfer them to a watercolor or a mixed media 300 grams paper using one of the following two methods. You can use either the window or a screen like an iPad to trace your drawing onto the watercolor paper. Place your watercolor paper on top of your drawing and then use a window so that the lines become visible. You can also use an iPad screen to do this and it will do the trick. Just make sure that the iPad screen is brighter than the room that you're in to see the drawing clearly. Make sure to draw very softly with your pencil to avoid leaving any marks on your paper. I will use a 2H pencil because it's very soft. If you only have a B1 or an HB, it's totally fine, but you will have to draw even softer to avoid leaving any marks. I'm going to paint my leaf using gouache and leave my camera recording so that you can see the whole process.
And this is the final result. I really love how it looks. It has a lot of contrast, a lot of depth and a lot of details. Hopefully you enjoyed this drawing and painting video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel so that you get updates for future videos. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy your day and see you next time. Bye.